what am I doing here? I don't know, Marty. I'm the pastor. I'm here to open up the church for the people of God this morning. The question is, what are you doing here? What are you doing here in the middle of the aisle where you are not supposed to be? You're supposed to be over there, not right here. So what are you doing here, Marty? Oh, no, I know, I know. I know it's your day. I know it's All Saints Day, I get that. No, so, so you're trying to march in today? No, I know the song when the saints come marching in, but you can't march in. COVID, no processionals, no walking in out of church for the priests. I, well, I know you're not a priest, you're a saint, I, I get that. I'm sorry, Marty, I can't, I know. Maybe next year. I know, don't be disappointed. So today's the Feast of All Saints in the church, and we celebrate not just one particular saint, but all the men and women who have gone before us, generation after generation after generation, our loved ones included, who are now in heaven. Because that is the end goal of life, to be in heaven. And what does it mean to be in heaven? We don't get a set of wings and become an angel. And people say, oh, they're an angel now in heaven. <coughs> Hate to burst your bubble, ain't happening. You're not gonna be an angel in heaven. They were all created from the beginning of time. To be in heaven means you have achieved the great title of sainthood. That's what it means to be in heaven. You are now a saint. This is our end goal at all moments of our life. We should be living for that title of saint. And we continue to live for that title of saint when we live out the will of God within our life. When we live out his love, God is love. And in each and every moment, we are called to incorporate that love into our life and to live that love and extend that love to others. It becomes about others and bringing them closer to God as well. And within the church, we have those saints, those individuals we can say, yes, they have indeed lived a holy life for God. Might have been imperfect at times, but they come to see and realize the will of God within their life, live that life for God. And we can declare them, yes, as saints. And in heaven, those saints are praying for us. We don't pray for the saints to the saints like the little demigods up there. No, we pray recognizing that they are close to God. And their desire is that as we journey and pilgrimage through this world, we could get close to him as well. And so they were always there praying for us, praying with us in the pure presence of Christ's light and his love. That is where we are called to be. And so we've got to ask ourselves today and every day, how am I living out this mission? Am I living out this desire to become a saint in heaven one day? And so that's the goal. This was the goal of Marty's life. He got it. So I let him sit here for a few more minutes. He let him have his little glory in an empty church because we can't have him walking in. I know. <laughs> I know, Marty, I'm not marching. I'm not a saint yet. I'm, I'm just walking down the aisle to get out of the way for you. Marty.